Yeah. We try to have them like that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm at the uh, the meat show, and I want to learn about pumping meat here. So what do you, what do you got? <laughs> this is our basic VRAM pump. This is a nine inch standard. It has a two and a half inch reverse cylinder. The cylinder is reversed because rather than the shaft, like most typical cylinders, going back and forth in the product, we've turned it around so the outside tube goes back and forth in the product. That way all your oil seals are external, there's no contamination, and if there is an oil leak, it's in this trough, away from the material, not contaminating any of that or the wastewater. This is the shifting valve. This is what makes the cylinder go back and forth. How that happens, there's a trip on the cylinder. These are air switches, and this is the air valve, turns the air supply on and off. You pull it out, it turns the air on. When this switch trip hits this switch, it'll trip it, and that tells this valve to go the other direction. So then the cylinder will come back until it hits this switch, that tells it to go the other direction, and then it goes back forward. And it'll keep cycling back and forth until you turn the air supply off. On the other models, we have electric controls. The only thing that's different is there will be a metal sensor here and here. And it runs off electricity rather than air. The valve looks the same, only minus the air hoses. This is a nylon gland holder, we call it. What this does is keep the product inside the charging chamber. It has five O-ring seals. This is made of nylon. Uh, they just seal on the shaft. Whenever the O-rings get bad, you take the cylinder out, replace the O-rings, and you're good to go again. We also have an optional packing gland. That one is a metal tube that's in place, and you use quarter-inch graphite packing, which has adjustable nylon tube on the outside that you tighten to force the packing in to create a seal. Um, some places like those better because it's easier to renew it. You can just back it off, put more packing in, and tighten up again. This is the one that most people like, so this is the one that we sell standard. This is the drain. This is the charging chamber. Inside the pump, you will see what we call the ram. The ram has grooves on all three sides. What the grooves do for you is material will stick in the grooves and create a seal so that when it goes into the pumping chamber, which is ahead of this point, it keeps the water and moisture with the material as it pumps it. As it goes all the way forward, it comes back. Material will fall down in the hopper and it will be behind this ram. Now, as the ram retracts, this material, the slope on the ram, this material will come up. Each time it'll just keep building a little higher, a little higher, and then eventually it'll roll over the top and fall down in front. This does two things for us. One, it keeps the back cleaned out, and two, it agitates the material in the hopper. If the hopper is full of material when this comes back and it lifts, it keeps everything rolling so that you have less bridging. The reason we have straight sides on the hopper is straight sides reduce the bridging. If you have any kind of a taper, you're increasing your chance of bridging and not allowing material to fall down in front of the ram. You can have tapered beyond this point. That's totally up to the customer. But we generally do not like to see them any shorter than the standard height. We also have what we call an unflowable pump, which is the exact same pump, only the charging chamber will be 12 to 18 inches longer, allowing for bigger pieces of material that would typically bridge or not fall in front of the ram. This is called the top cover. This is over the pumping chamber. This is where the material is trapped into its final shape and is forced forward. The length of the top cover is how much material you will pump each stroke. Once this comes forward, inside this end is a flapper check valve. Just a simple flapper check valve, triangular shaped. The material will lift this valve up, slide past it, and then when the ram inside starts to retract, the material in the pipe will want to go back, catches on the nose, and it closes the check valve. This is a check valve stop. It's adjustable. 
Typically, the check valve is at a 10 degree angle off from 90. In liquidy, more liquid materials, or if you have a lot of, um, like say, poultry frames that you want to break up more, you can adjust this stop down, which holds the check valve down, forcing it to break the material up, or allowing the check valve to close faster in liquids. And that's pretty much it. Liners. Oh, liners. Our pumps are also available with liners. The liners bolt inside on the side, these two sides, and on the top cover. And what they allow you to do is once you've had your pump for four or five years and you're starting to get a lot of clearance on top of the ram, you can remove these liners. It's all bolted in on the outsides. Take the bolts out, remove the liners, bolt in new liners, and you have a brand new pumping chamber. Awesome. That's it. I'll take 25. Take 25. Oh, we just paid the price.